Hey guys, it's Nash, and I thought today I would give you guys a tour of my fish tank, my patio bowl, summer tub, whatever you guys call it. It's out there on the balcony or the patio. And I thought I would talk to you guys about guppy breeding and what I've learned and how I've been successful. And just let you guys know the do's and don'ts of guppies, because I love them. Here we go. Okay guys, so I am filming this on my iPhone. I think it's decent quality. It is going to zoom in and out a little bit as I try to show you guys details. But other than that, I think you guys will be really able to see what I'm talking about. We're not rich. We're not a YouTuber yet. So this is what we're working with. So here is the tank. There's three males in here. If I can catch them, they're zooming around. There's a red, a blue and a yellow. Here's a yellow guy, he's kind of still. And then back there, that's a female. Got three blondie females and the one little black brunette female in this tank. I should have six females, I only have four because two did die in labor. I don't think that they were fit to carry as many fry as they did have they were ballooned really big but they just ended up dying and I ended up not seeing any of their fry so we will be buying more girls probably tomorrow or this weekend to keep that ratio good so no one's being harassed or anything you don't want just a few females in there with a ton of males because they will get harassed to the point of probably death like, the boys are pretty relentless. They want what they want. And if there's plenty of females, then everyone's happy. Right? So, starting off, the filter came with the tank. This is a 10-gallon or 20-gallon. Oh, man, I forgot. I think it's a 10-gallon. But anyway, it's a starter kit from Walmart. It came with the filter. It came with, like, a little pack of food, a little pack of the water stuff. And for a long time, my fish kept dying and dying and dying. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I'm checking the water. They have the air. They have heat. I'm like, what is it? And I just figured out I was not letting the tank cycle. There was no bacteria. So the ammonia was just taking over. There was nothing to eat up their ammonia, which ammonia is in their poop. So their poop was essentially just killing them because it's producing so much ammonia becomes toxic and without bacteria that just produces over time after a month of running a tank then I was killing them you can buy some startup stuff that says it adds bacteria but I would still recommend waiting at least a few days even if you buy that stuff because you have to think about it, it's a brand new tank with no organisms no life and here you are trying to stick all this life in it at once so you gotta really wait until you get a system going but other than that the plants in the background are fake those plants back there are all from Walmart they're a big pack they come in a variety pack I would recommend doing that buying that pack if you guys want a really green tank but you don't have the money to just buy all these plants right away. So, because they can get pricey, they're about $12 sometimes at PetSmart for one big one. So, you can do that. That's what I'm doing. And I plan to just slowly, slowly um, replace them with real plants and just have a really natural tank. And as for this carpet plant down here, a lot of people are interested when I post on my Facebook group about the carpet plant so that is actually from wish it's the wish app it's an app where you buy everything for a dollar or really cheap the only catch is it usually takes about two weeks to a month to get here but i would say for these it's definitely worth it because once you put those seeds in there they're starting to grow by day two and if they're like got good lighting in the tank that's all they really require I just put them a little bit into the gravel and they rooted themselves you can see their roots and they've done really good so I would really recommend those for a dollar off wish that right there is a lily 
That's also from Wish, but I don't think that's going to do to get indoor there. I have a few outside that are doing way better. Okay, so let's start with the breeding. As for sexing the guppy fish, the males are generally a lot more colorful. They'll have longer fins, a longer fin on top. Um, as for females, you want to look at their anal fin. So usually where you see that little string of poop coming out on fish is where you want to be looking. On a female, typically, well always, there's going to be a little triangle anal fin. You can see right there, see that little triangle? Whereas to a male, if you look at their anal fin, I think they're scared of this phone. <laughs> they're like running off. Okay, as to a boy, you see him right there? They'll have a little stick-like fin, you see it? It's like a stick. So that's the gynopodium. And the females have a little triangle on the bottom. I'm talking about that bottom fin. See hers? Triangle. See her? She's a female. Triangle. See her? Triangle. Okay, now find the male. Stick like fin. They do not like this phone being so close to the glass right now. <laughs> like, what is this big black thing? Gosh, you're spaz today. Okay, and other than that, the um, fry and the whole breeding process just happens naturally. You don't have to raise the water, lower the water. They do do everything better in warm water because they are tropical fish. So if you have a heater, you're going to have more success. But honestly, these things breed like wildfire. Like wildfire. Like they just breed and breed and breed. So you'll most likely be successful. So besides the anal fin for sexing, you can see that females have a gravid spot. It's really hard to tell on these blonder females that they have a gravid spot because it's like yellow, but you can still see that gravid spot. Um, it's a lot more prominent in these darker females like her. See that big gravid spot? That also is a great indicator that you're looking at a girl. I don't think they're very too fond of me showing their privates. Let me see your gynopodium. <laughs> I need to show the people. Okay, so other than that, for fry, I usually keep them in something like this for fry. And you're probably going to want to do that. This is sold at Walmart for like two bucks, three bucks. You can keep your fry in there. I did do that in the beginning and you probably will want to too because you're going to want successful first fry. But I've had a few batches of fry. That red guy I was showing was one of my own fry. Um, the black, Their mom actually, these little fry, I hope you guys can see these little tiny fry. They are adorable. They are precious. Okay, so their mother was actually one of my fries, so I know she was a virgin when she got pregnant. So that means that one of my boys is definitely the dad. So they were definitely, some of them will definitely be very pretty. And I can't wait to figure it out. Their mom was a half black, but I'm not seeing any black tails on the fry. So I'm excited about that, because black is pretty boring, you know? wants a bunch of black fish when you can have all these beautiful colors. I do like a few black ones just for contrast, but it is stronger than the other jeans, so you don't want it to take over. And they have been doing great. I haven't put them in their little net because they just love this little leaf to leaf grass. They hide in it. I haven't seen any of the adults really chase after them or anything of that sort. So yeah I saw one female chasing after a baby one time it was early in the morning and as soon as I fed her she left them be she was just hungry so they've been doing great they stay huddled up 
Is they all huddled up in this? Oh, what a good shot. There they are. Okay, yeah. They stay all huddled up right here. I'm not sure if there's any babies in the outdoor patio bowl yet. It is just started up. But there's so many little fry. They swim in and out of this grass. And I can keep you guys updated on this little batch of fry because I'm pretty sure they're going to do really good. No one has needle tail. Everyone looks good. Everyone's been eating. So I'm really happy about them. Um, other than that, the female, a pregnant female will look really big. You will notice she looks huge in comparison to everyone else. Um, their belly will be really big. And they will just be growing and growing for those 30 or so days that they are pregnant for. So you'll see them just get really big. And when it's time to give birth, birth, you'll see heavy breathing. So really fast moving of the gills. And you'll see a very darkening, dark, 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 big, dark spot. The, the gravid spot gets big and dark. So they always have it, but it will be really big and dark when it's time for labor. And then their bodies will look really, really square. So right here, this female, as you see, her body looks kind of like round. When they are about to give birth and they're in actual active labor, they look like a little box. The little part, piece of them that's hanging off. Like, you know, the, how your belly hangs. Will be very square shaped. And that's a sign of active labor. So you see how hers is kind of like big in the front and narrows off in the back. When she's ready, it would just look like a big square. And she, she'll just start popping them out. They'll fall to the ground in a little ball for a few minutes kind of wiggle their way out and they'll just start swimming and stay in a little group like these guys are doing so yeah and when they come out you can have this handy scoop them all up look for them every day after school or work and you'll find them they'll be there guppies breed very easy you need to make sure to have room to have backup plans to make sure not to buy too many to start off with because they will multiply and other than that that's it you want to crush up food flake food i just grab it and i go like this as i'm pouring it in and those little little bits they get to the fry and they eat them it does make this a little bit more dirty having small pieces of food but it's worth it it doesn't bother me and yeah other than that, we're going to head outside and show you guys the summer tub patio bowl. Okay, so here we go. We're heading outside. Here's the patio. They do an amazing job with the grass here. I do can say that much. I think I'm actually going to unplug this guy while I talk to you guys because I cannot hear. Okay, so here's the patio bowl. You can see it in here, I just have black females. There was Big Mama. That was the mama of those baby fry. None of them really seem to have that black tail yet, so I'm hoping one of these guys or one of the guys inside is the father. And yeah, they will have some really pretty little fry. I'll give you guys an update on how the fry are doing right now. They are about three days old, so three days. I'll let you guys see a, maybe a two-week update or a month update of a fry. You see that little baby Endler? I just got him. So there's three boys in here. Purple, red, red looking in purple, and a blue. And that little endler is still a baby. Then we have four black baby girls and one big mama. That I actually bred her myself. So that's really cool. The rest of her litter though went to my neighbor. And yeah, this is the pond. So these are some more of those 
um, Walmart fake plants just to like beef it up until I start buying things. And there's some more of that grass. I just transplanted it in. These lilies are from Wish. Very pretty. Grew really well. All you do with lilies is you buy them off Wish or whatever and you crack them with like a, one of your dad's tools or husband's tools and or your tool it's 2019 right you crack it just so the air the water can get into the seed so you want some kind of little scratch perforation and then they will sprout and hopefully these will flower It'll give me a pretty lotus out here and i have some sun sun sunflowers oh my god no that's right there. <laughs> Those are sunflowers, but seashells that my one of my clients got me from dog sitting. When I dog sit, my clients go to the beach and they bring me little things like that. That's an Amazon sword plant. Just got that from PetSmart. Really like that. Somebody leave in a comment below if I'm supposed to take it out of the little basket and plant it into the gravel or leave it in the little basket and plant it or leave it like it is right now just sitting there. I really don't know what I'm doing with that. But slowly I do want to have all real plants. See my reflection? <laughs> that blue guy looks awesome out here. So does the purple. Yeah, other than that, that gravel is from Walmart. I recommend really light gravel so you can see your fish. I wanted white, but that's light enough. You can definitely see them. It's just one of these. This is also from Walmart. Wally World is my place. It's where I go. So yeah, it's nice, sturdy, made for outdoors. Doesn't chip plastic. No holes in the bottom. None of that crazy plugging stuff. Definitely found a few with no holes. So definitely go look. This was fifteen dollars. One of the more expensive ones. So you can definitely do this on a budget. So yep, here that all is, and it has a filter. It's just a filter right there, a heater, and that's an airline for the bubbler. So they have everything they might need in here. I do have a heater because I do live in Indianapolis and it does get cold here at night. It does drop sometimes into the 60s, so you don't want any overnight death. You try to get a close shot without spooking them. Look at them all. They're happy in their little pond. They're confused why there's no current. The water just became still all of a sudden. There they are. Look at that purple. Beautiful. I have just completely fallen in love with this fish. I mean, no bubble nest, no eggs, just babies in beautiful, beautiful colors. But what's not to like, right? It's like she had little neon tetra in here. The lady gave me him for free. He was in the guppy tank. It was a fry. So he's just like the little ugly duckling. Did you see him? There he is. He's right there. <laughs> yep. He's a little neon tetra. But yeah. I'm going to have to go ahead and turn the pond back on in a second for you guys to see it all running. Um, let me think. Am I missing anything? No. Just like I said, when you start this up, buy the bacteria, let it run a few days before you add your fish. If you know it gets cold at your house at night, have a heater. If you know you're in the sunlight, you're going to get algae, have a filter. If not, you can just do all plants. I've seen people do all real plants and no electricity and it just becomes an ecosystem can try it that way but you will not have as clear water and all that whatever you like so the filter does run I did kind of waterproof every electricity thing and best I can and I do watch everything while it's raining so what I did right now I took it off but my plugs are right there and I plug one extension cord those are lights those are like the fairy lights but the other one's just for the pond and it's an extension cord and I plug it in and I put this. This is from a oil, like vegetable oil. I cut that off, fits perfectly over that. Made slits for the power lines. So that's how I do that. And then it keeps the rain out of that whole situation. Then coming down, 
ignore that that's for plants that's why it's so dirty but and here is all the connections to the to the port to the extension port so you just get like some tubbleware the tubbleware and it has all the cord that's taped up and all that and then I got to take it with this and take it back later and it's just everything is in there not getting wet. Do you guys get that? I can do a more detailed video if you guys can figure something out for yourself but it's pretty easy just keep everything plug wise from getting wet. As for this, these things they can get pretty wet I mean, they're for an aquarium, but I did also wrap them up. See the love wires wrapped. And the filter itself has some plastic wrap and the motor area. So you can just do that. Just wash it. Sometimes I'll just unplug it if it's raining. And yeah, this is the little garden. Little fairy garden. If you guys want a little more detailed video on that, that's fine. They do a great job on this grass here. Love my little patio. These are supposed to be some glow in the dark rocks. We're gonna let those load up and hopefully put them in here and we'll glow at night. We're gonna order some a few more things from Wish to really make this cool. Other than that. That's guppy breeding, that's a guppy tank, and a guppy summer tub, so I really hope that this video encouraged you guys to start your own tank or patio bowl. I figured it's a good time for, to do this video since people are outdoors and wanting to do things like this. I hope this did help you guys and educate you a little on how you can do it. Alright. So I think to sign off, we'll just plug her up. <clears throat> okay, here it is, slowly working. As you can see, I got a little filter. This one I also got from Walmart. Peter I got from Walmart. Cobbler <laughs> from Walmart. I mean, I got everything from Walmart. This is really easy, very doable. You can do the exact same thing. Just by going to a local Walmart. In total, I think it all cost me about a hundred bucks. So yeah. We have a beautiful sunrise here in sunny Indianapolis. Windy, windy Indianapolis. And I hope you guys liked that video. I hope it inspired you to do something like this this summer and just yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. Other than that, stay tuned for bloopers because I'm awkward. And subscribe. Let's figure out where this channel is going together, right? Bye. Peace. Hey guys, it's Nash. And today I thought I would do a... Heading out to the pond. Oh, oh, dang it, the trip. That kind of ruined a lot. Beautiful, 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 beautiful angel. Oh, I forgot what I was saying already. Hey guys, so today I thought I would show you guys the. Where am I looking? Am I looking over here? Am I looking over here? I don't know where I'm looking. Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a tour of my fish tank and my patio bowl. We'll give you guys a little look at the patio garden and just... Is it a balcony? Hey guys! Oh, I blanked out. Oh. Hey guys, so today I thought I would give you guys a little tour of the... Hey guys, to today I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of my fish tank and my outside patio bowl, balcony bowl, summer tub thing. And just tell you guys about guppies and breeding and how I figured out how to do it. And stab me, sleepy boy. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, actually, you're being too freaking perfectionist. Who cares? Okay.